Hello everyone, my name is Richard. I'm a third year PhD student at Harvard. Today I'm presenting our work in Mackay on whole slide images or 2D point clouds, context aware survival prediction using patch based graph convolutional networks. Since the development of set based deep learning, there has been remarkable progress made on using weakly supervised deep learning for whole slide images and automated cancer diagnosis and prognosis. Due to the computational complexities in training with whole slides, many weakly supervised methods have approached whole slides using multiple instance learning or MIL based methods in which small image patches from the whole slide are extracted as independent instances followed by pooling using a global aggregation operator over the bag of unordered instances. Though successful in solving cancer grading and subtyping tasks that only depend on discerning instance level information, Cancer outcome prediction is a much more difficult task that entails capturing important contextual and hierarchical information in the tumor microenvironment. For example, the interaction of tumor cells and lymphocytes that may elucidate tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, which has known prognostic significance in immunotherapy. Such features are difficult to capture in conventional MIL approaches that only represent whole slide images via global pooling over permutation invariant bags. To address this issue, we've proposed a spatially resolved patch-based GCN for survival outcome prediction in, in, in histopathology slides. One of the key contributions of our work is that we formulate whole slides similar to point clouds in which nodes correspond to histology image patches and edges are connected between adjacent patches using k-nearest neighbors. After constructing our graph-based data structure, we use message passing in GCNs to learn context-aware features that are prognostic for survival in whole slide images. To dive deeper into the connection between MIL and GCNs, note that in the standard for problem formulation for MIL, in the context of pathology, our ResNet 50 plus FC layer phi is used to process each patch independently to form instances in our bag. Then a permutation invariant function rho pools over the embeddings into the bag to form a bag level embedding, followed by a bag level classifier zeta. Similarly, most implementations of message passing of, of GCNs for a given node V, phi is a message construction function that calculates a message between V and all its neighbors U, followed by rho that aggregates over all the messages, then zeta serves as an update function of the node feature at node V. As a result, we can view neighborhood aggregation in GCNs as a formulation of MIL with structural neighborhood constraints in which instance level features are, are, are adaptively averaged and pooled in local neighborhoods instead of across the entire bag, which are then used as updates in the hidden layers. Another way we can think of this is that conventional MIL approaches are flat set-based network architectures that only perform global pooling, and we can parameterize the hidden layers using permutation equivariant-like functions, such as message passing. In patch GCN, we implemented message passing using the softmax aggregation scheme from DeepGCN, which most closely resembles global attention pooling from Ilse et al. used in conventional MIL approaches. In the context of pathology, the in intuition for using GCNs is that for an instance level embedding that indicates only lymphocyte presence at the beginning of, of a set-based deep learning ar architecture, Following a one-hop aggregation from, from GCNs, the, the semantic information of that embedding would th become an, an adapted admixture of its original input and its neighbors, shown as the blue graph nodes, which would change the Im embedding semantics here to also express lymphocytes plus tumor cells and background stroma, resulting in more context-aware features. Spatially, this resembles a convolutional operator over a 768 pixel-sized window. Following using GCN backbone for learning context-aware features, we can then implement a global attention pooling as performed in Ilse et al. and most other MIL methods. Note that message passing does not change the size of the bag, rather the updates are performed per instance to make each instance feature embedding consider its neighborhood context. To preserve the, local, to preserve the original instance level information, we use a combination of residual mapping and dense connection to incorporate global and local features in a, in a hierarchical manner. We validate our method on five large cancer data sets from the TCGA and compare against some current state-of-the-art approaches in weekly supervised deep learning and pathology using our own internal benchmarks. In our experimentation, we, we find that patch GCN outperforms prior weekly supervised learning methods on most cancer types, which demonstrates the potential of using GCN for learning context-aware prognostic information. In examining interpretability of patch GCN, we observe that instance level features are adaptively averaged in our, net, in our neural network, 
in which the high tension region that is localizing necrosis in this high risk patient is also including normal tissue in its periphery. Further interpretability and discussion can be found in our conference paper. Thank you for attending our talk. If you want to learn more about our work, please follow me on Twitter at Richard J. Chen or visit our lab website at mamoodlab.org.